Let me just put it down. Just slide it down. There we go. Right. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing of this beast that has just arrived. And it's <coughs> going to be raw, it's just arrived. I'm going to rip into it and you will see exactly what you get as it arrives in the post. I have to say I'm a little bit excited about this one. This is the EB200P. Uh, now I've got an EB70 which has been fantastic. Brilliant little device, but operative wood's kind of little in a sense. Like it is actually small and portable, uh, good for your camping type stuff. But, ooh, but it is small, 716 watt hours, and the inverter in it is quite small as well. Which, you know, there's plenty of reviews on that. There's a lot that can be done with it, but also, <clears throat> but to use as a house backup situation like a house backup device as a solar generator that thing is a little too small um, this big beast here is a completely different story we're talking 2000 watt hours so two kilowatt hours and a whopping great inverter in it which will theoretically do the whole house and you're gonna certainly see that as I put it through its paces because I'm going to connect it to first this wonderful tiny house which has a lot less power draw. I mean the things that are in here as you see when I plug in we've got the wood heater, we've got gas for cooking and instant hot water so it's got to run a fridge and things like that but I, I can plug it in as though it is well like you know, I'll plug it into the transfer switch for the tiny which will mean that it runs the whole tiny and then I can turn the lights on and do all of that. At the moment it's plugged into the grid. But it is soon going to be plugged into this. Crikey, this thing is big. Uh, and heavy, 30 something kilos. Okay, bring you over for a closer look. Pretty ready, I assume paperwork, warranty stuff, the power brick. I know some of the Blue Eddy things and some other manufacturers are now moving towards a built-in power supply, so you just plug it in, which I think is pretty cool, but this one has the old power brick. Like I say, it's sort of raw and uncut, so you're going to see everything in the box. Big, Jesus. This is heavy. Big power adapter. And it is uh, <coughs> 5 amp. So it's input, of course, we're down here, but it's 100 to 240. And that output is 58.8 volts, 7 amps. 411 watts so that is a beast it's a Fu Yang Fu Wong brand so no blue ring on it okay a little bag which I assume is some cabling yes so that's we can do a crow tie we got the car car adapter all this ends in this big XT90 fairly big plug so that's uh, your car cigarette plug adapter and that's just your kettle cord cable thingy MC4 connectors with the XT90 and oh yes okay that is the 
I can't remember what they call this, but it's that's the plug-in to charge. So you go from MC4 to that. Alright. Go to the unit. That's it. Empty box.